Hey kids, Johan here. It's Tuesday, February the 2th, Groundhog Day. Um, six more weeks of winter, because it's six more weeks from today until the first day of spring, so regardless of what the little forest rat does, we still have six more weeks of winter. Anyway... I went for my CT today. Um, it was a little bit of a cluster. They had me check in at 145 and then sit in my car in the garage there at Bayless uh, because my test was scheduled for 315. That's an hour and a half. For you guys playing at home. Um, so I sat there until probably about 5 or 10 after 2. And they called me and said I could come in. So I went in. I re-COVID screened. And, um, and then I went in. They gave me a glass of water to chug. Um... So I chugged it, and then I had to pee really bad, because it was cold outside, and I had to pee. And then I chugged this water, and then I really had to pee. And it was so cold in that office. The whole place, it was freezing in there. So I had to pee the whole time. Luckily, I got to. So anyway, um, I go back there, and... Dude goes to start my IV for the for the dye, and he can't. He gets it going, but he can't use it for the test because there's like a valve or something in my vein that uh, is not conducive to when he injects the dye. Because he says he does that at like 250 PSI. I hope to hell he's joking. But I don't really know. But so he stuck me three different times to try to find a good spot in that vein to, to do the test. And he couldn't get it. So he sends me into this little uh, pseudo lab room you know where you'd go to like urgent care to have your labs done uh it's this little tiny room like that it's about the size of a closet um so i sit there for about 15 minutes and they send the memorial pick line team over like the people that start the pick lines for surgery, like what, like what I had in my arm for two months over the holidays. Uh, but they have their little ultrasound thingamajig that they use to find the vein, and he found it, and he got the vein in, or the the he got the IV started. Um, big ass needle, big. Big, huge, huge needle. Hurt like a mother trucker. Like a like a like a pus bucket on a stick. I I'm trying not to swear because I know some of you don't care for swearing. Anyway, got the IV started. I went in had maybe a four to five, maybe six minute test. Uh, but I was there from one thirty eight when I pulled in the parking spot in Bayless until 3.46 when I left. And then while I was talking to Dawn, when I got home, I was talking to Dawn, Apparently, I had my phone still on silent, or do not disturb, I guess it was, and 
apparently my doctor's office called because I had called them today asking if maybe they can write a script for uh, for pancreatic enzymes supplement, you know, like Creon. It's it's a thing. It trust me. So she calls while I'm on Do Not Disturb. And so I missed the call, obviously. And so I call back two minutes later. I'm on hold for about seven minutes. I get the office. And the nurse that called me left for the day. She gone. So I have to wait till tomorrow to find out what goes on, what's going on with the pancreatic enzyme supplement. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. Tune in tomorrow. I really fucking hate my doctor. No, not my doctor, but his office. His office sucks. They're... They're clueless. He's... He's a good doctor. I like him. He's a good guy. He's... A decent doctor. His office sucks. Just horrible, horrible with relaying messages both from him to me and from me to him. Just horrible. So I may well take Dawn's advice and we'll find a doctor in St. Louis or hell, maybe I'll start going to our vet. Can't be any worse than what I got now. I like our bed. She's anyway. Um, so I had my CT. Hopefully, uh, Barnes will get it soon and they can get it read so I can have my telehealth appointment on the 18th and hopefully surgery on the 25th. Um, but in the meantime, I just have to keep on keeping on. Hope I stay out of the hospital. I'm going to Half Wits tonight. Uh, but that's it. But I had to tell you the story of the CT. Because only, only me. I just, I, hey, Johan out. We'll talk to you soon. Hey kids, it is Sunday. February 14th. Happy VD. It is about 20 after 6. Uh, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I thought I would um, check in and let you know what's going on. Uh, as far as that first video goes, I had my CT. I was I confirmed with Barnes that they received the CT. So, Dr. Kushner is going to be able to read it, and we'll discuss it at my appointment this coming Thursday, the 18th. I also got my Creon, finally. My PCP decided he didn't want to fill it unless my GI guy absolutely refused but he would rather my GI fill it which I guess I understand so I called my GI guy and he's like yeah sure I'll fill it so I now have my pancreatic enzyme supplement uh, these big ass horse capsules that are about that big take two with meals and one with a snack um, and that's really about it um, it's been too damn cold to go to half wits uh, they actually canceled half wits this entire week because of how cold it's been um, so haven't done any walking. Um, what else? 
I got checked in for my telehealth appointment with Barnes. Uh, I did all my online check-in stuff. Um, then that day when I got home from work, there was a big fat envelope from Washington University waiting for me. That Man, that's a lot of glare probably coming off my bald head. But I got a big envelope from Washington University waiting on me that had various patient instructions and then a form, a new patient history and physical to fill out and it said to bring with you at your appointment. Well, that's kind of hard to do when it's a telehealth appointment and you're 100 miles away. So I had to call and ask if I was supposed to somehow fax it to them, scan it to them, whatever. And they're like, no, just have it with you. So like a moron, I filled out a paper that the doctor's never going to see. But if he asks me a question, like about meds I take or something, I'll have it right in front of me. and won't have to go, oh, let me check. Hold on. Go running upstairs. Also, I got a new gimbal, basically a steady cam for my phone, since I don't have all these fancy gadgets and GoPros and all this stuff to be able to to film on, you know, while I'm out running and whatnot. I have a steady cam. I still have to hold it, but it will hopefully, when I'm walking and running, it will hopefully not make things as jerky as just using my phone to film but like I figured out how to do the object tracking I don't know if you notice, notice this but the phone follows me automatically as I move sorry um, but that's that's really the that's really the extent of what I have to report since early February. Not much has been going on. Um, I did get my second COVID shot on Friday. My arm really, really hurts. But, um, so there's that. Beyond that, there's really just nothing exciting going on. Um... Like I said, I've got my telehealth visit on Thursday, so hopefully I'll be able to, to broadcast some good news to you Thursday. I can't believe I'm still hoping to require surgery, but that's where I am. Because if I don't need surgery, I don't know where that leaves me. But we'll just, I, I gotta stop worrying about it and just let Thursday's events happen as they are going to happen. Um, there's really nothing else I can do. So, um, I guess stay tuned. I will let you know what happens at my telehealth appointment. And, um,. Stay warm out there, guys. Some nasty weather coming. Um, stay warm. Stay safe. Johan out.